right, it is June 6th, I believe, and it has been a week, and this is the row E assessment. You can see row F is in there as well, and I'll assess that when I'm done here. So we'll just walk down the row again, getting some really nice big leaves. It still has some of the last spray on it. Here is a, oh, it's up there. We've had a couple wind events. See, I'm coming in here today and untangling and positioning. It looks like I have one running from one to the other, coming right through. I will be pulling all that stuff away and in wherever possible tying it down to the wire. Just a quick little tie. See these that were going straight up. The ones that I snipped off are doing fine if they if they snap right at the cordon. They're they're a problem. I wish I would have gotten more of them tied or clipped another dead one in the end it'll be all right but it's just a pain in the ass when you get broken broken uh, shoots yeah see that one was clipped and it's doing fine Some of these are getting close to the ground and will need to be hedged. Um, I have to hedge below the bottom wire and up top. See, I wouldn't hedge this because this is a, that's a main chute. But I'll get side chutes like this that will come up and go straight up. And all that's going to happen is they'll snap when it gets windy. Yeah, speaking of wind, today is going to be pretty windy. We've had a lot of wind lately, but that's fairly normal. We are up on a ridge, so. See, I cut this off because this one, you know, was going straight up. Oh, there's the kitty. Maisie Cat, come to help me work in the vineyard. See, today I wanted to get in here and take off the last of the Famosus damage stuff. And I have some powdery mildew in row E, or F. It's going to be hard to remember that. The last row is F now. Yeah, see, this needs to be tied. The tie came off. Got to get in here and do all the maintenance work. Pruning, tying, like that. Now they're dead one. I came in here last night. You, you can't really see it in this row very well. But you have to hand prune around the base of the vines. Then you can come in with the glyphosate and knock down the weeds. It's a real pain in the ass. In the end, I'm going to have grass right up to the vines, or real close to the vines, and I want to use a robotic trimmer, a robotic grass cutter. That's the way to do it. Yeah, some of these are getting pretty damn tangled up. Hopefully, I won't cause more damage than I solve. See, that's that's a mess. That can't stay like that. I want air to flow through the canopy, and with everything everything uh, crisscrossing like that, it just makes for a mess. I got lots of grapes still on the vines, but 
I really don't have things set up to sell them and I don't think I'm going to leave any to mature because then I got to I got to put net up and it's just not worth it this year. I believe I'm going to remove all that stuff. Looks like I got a little bit of powdery mildew on that. Could be from the from the sprays. Eh, it does look like it's from the sprays, but and another broken one there. Not in a critical not in a critical position, but broken nonetheless. And that brings us to the end of the row. So, hit the subscribe button and click the little bell for updates. And you'll be notified when we do these little row updates. At some point, very soon, this is going to look like a curtain of green. It gets pretty awesome looking in a week or two. Thank you.